think like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just gonna stay at this job for three years and be able to stick it out. And then life happened. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nourish Kathiana, and in today's video, we'll be talking all about how I broke my 10,000, yeah, 10,000 dollar nursing new grad contract. So we'll be talking about numbers, why I broke it, how I broke it, and what's the next step. So if you're uh, interested in this video, go ahead and uh, press subscribe. Make sure you leave a con comment down below what you think of this video, and let's get into it. So, hi guys, welcome back. I'm Nurse Kathiana. So, if you don't know about me, I was in LPN for three years. And so, I passed my NCLEX in November 22nd, exactly, of 2019. And so, it actually marks my one year anniversary. So, yes, um, of being an RN. So, once I graduated and passed my NCLEX, I just, you know, applied to jobs, as many jobs as I can. And the first job to call me and actually offer me um, a position was my old job. And so with that job, I was going to be making $28 an hour. Well, okay, let's back up. So with that job, I would be making $24 an hour uh, as a new grad residency during the residency program and then I'd be making twenty eight fifty plus nights and weekends differential as a nurse on the floor right but that came with me signing a contract of three years two years to my floor and then three years to the hospital well to the company and so at the time I'm like okay yeah I'm gonna sign this I don't mind um you know i'm not going anywhere right now i'm hungry for a job i'm ready to start they pay really really good compared to most hospitals down here in south florida for new grads and you know i should like it, it, it it's in a really good neighborhood um and you would think like oh yeah you know i'm just gonna stay at this job for three years and be able to stick it out and then life happened and then i started and I'm not saying that the company, no way, no shape, no form am I bashing the company. But for me, it's a lot. If you haven't seen a lot of my other videos, I talk about having eight patients, which is the highest ratio among most of the other hospitals. Even with the same company, we had the most, the highest ratio. So I had eight patients on a cardiac floor at night, titrating drips. Some days you don't even have enough care partners to even work and supplies i mean everywhere supplies is limited everywhere or you have to go find supplies everywhere you know but it was a lot it was a lot and on top of that i was working nights and i disliked nights strongly like very strongly <laughs> so uh after six months i was trying to do a transition up, up until days and so i was getting a lot of pushback on that um i had a manager you know things fell through papers were never given to hr it was a mess and so after that i got a new manager and same thing a lot of pushback first off there's not a lot of staff at my old job with night shift so you only have a few selected people to pick from and it's like is that fair to me to be continuously doing nights um just because we don't have the staff to cover nights at that point and then even when i am able to transition to two days it's like you're not allowing me because i need to make sure that the new grads are trained when i'm a new grad myself so my old job is like new grads training new grads basically so i definitely had to get out of that situation. I was miserable. I was very unhappy. Um, I love the staff. Shout out to my old coworkers. Like they were amazing. Like the people at the job definitely make a big, big difference. But at the end of the day, it's the management. It's you know the terms and conditions, the ratios. Eight patients and you're titrating some type of cardizem or nitro. Like does that even make sense? Is that safe? Like I literally was nervous for my license. I mean, obviously, I knew how to critical think, but for if I was a new grad with no experience prior at all, it would have been 
it would have been something serious anyways let's get into the the money okay <laughs> so i broke my contract so i if you haven't watched my other videos i'll link them up above so i got a job offer um at a really 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 good hospital and i will have day shifts i will have maximum five patients we do not titrate drips it's a really good reputable hospital so i'm like okay i'm excited but what do i do about this contract here so a lot of people were asking me in my last videos am i quitting my job or staying pra i'm quitting my job like that's it i wanted to stay prn but they told me that i would owe six thousand nine hundred dollars for a contract that was broken many 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 times like things that i was promised i wasn't gonna i didn't get so yeah I, i'd have to pay that in order to become prn i'm not doing that so yeah i'm quitting my job i owe six thousand nine hundred dollars and i'm going to see what i can do to kind of go around it because for me i feel like there was a pandemic uh, i was promised a lot of things and i wasn't given those things it was very unorganized like what did you i don't know so yeah i am quitting my older job if you have any questions down below about the contract or anything like that um do i still recommend a nursing residency i do recommend it still make sure that you go to the hospital or that you know someone that works in the hospital and you are able to ask and go on that because i did see reviews about my that my residency program was good but the hospital itself is not somewhere that people typically stay long term as well as i didn't even know what my floor enticed like i didn't know i would have eight patients i just was looking for a job you know what i mean and i like the heart so yeah um definitely be aware new grads take your time um sometimes it's not even worth just you know starting anywhere uh if you are starting a residency program make sure that you are reading that contract thoroughly definitely wouldn't recommend three years two years okay but three years especially to the same floor like if it was like one year and i can switch to icu or er or step down or wherever i would like to go okay but three years two years to one floor eh. I don't know I don't know so if you guys want a more thorough and video on like the pros and the cons of a new grad nurse residency I can get that for you um, stay tuned because I will be talking about my checks and how my checks looked and how to break down the paychecks as a new grad as you know my one year is coming so stay tuned for those and if you haven't subscribed go ahead subscribe and thank you for watching bye guys